I see that that is the lemon like we're all using together, Peter. But let's be fair. Well, you imitated it. Excuse her, me. Excuse me. The woman has been Sorry. accommodated by all of us, including the Senate Judiciary Committee. It sounds like her own attorneys did not give her the option of testifying privately under oath in California. That would have been more discreet thing for her to do. Sorry. And they either didn't tell her that or she lied under oath. Yes. But, excuse me, she's been treated like a fabric egg by all of us, beginning with me and the president. She's pointing out factual inconsistencies. Do you have corroboration for her claims? Have you found, excuse me, can you fill in her memory gaps or in, her factual inconsistencies? That is part of the evidence gathering process in any hunt for truth. And those who pretend that they're searching for truth are already voting against But I'm just, 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 like, just, like, just, just, like, just, like, call to the just, like, call to the poly. the FBI from talking to Ms. Moore. Yeah, absolutely. Has she lost all credibility? But in the terms of the, the background check, the supplemental background check, would they approve her as a witness? Not a background check. It's a, it's a supplemental background check. But how so, they, will they allow that? Uh, you have to talk to the FBI, but the FBI has been given free reign. We're not micromanaging like anything. But no, you dictate the terms, so you would not block that. It's up to the Senate Judiciary Committee. That's not, but no, they, the White House dictates the terms of the supplemental background check. Excuse me. This woman has testified under oath for hours for all of you to see. If now you're getting concerned about the factual inconsistencies, the memory gaps, the fact that delay has not helped her much because people from all corners of her life are coming forward and telling their story. I'm not saying that the FBI will talk about it. Kelly, Julie, Kelly, 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 my reaction is that you have to take the fullness of everything that the White House, the Senate Judiciary Committee, and everyone has done for 17 days and to accommodate Dr. Ford. She got to testify under oath on her terms 10 days after Brett Kavanaugh was ready to testify. He wasn't trying to get his story ready. He, he was ready to go within 24 hours of hearing her identity, within about 12 hours of learning her identity, I believe. He was ready to raise his right hand. So the accommodations have been for her. And you want to be mad at someone, and if I were Dr. Ford, I would, be, I would think it was an unpardonable sin, truly unforgivable conduct for Senator Feinstein to be sitting on this, for the Democrats to have... Um, her, to, to have smoked out her identity. She wanted to remain anonymous. They've made her a household name. People recognize her now. It's not fair to her. It's not fair to Judge Cavanaugh. Have a vote on the man. Vote him up or down. If I were one of these red state Democrats, including but not exclusively the three who voted for Judge Gorsuch, Justice Gorsuch, Senators Heitkamp and Donnelly and Manchin, I'd be very concerned that I am stuck between being complicit in a process that has tried to destroy a man that revealed the identity of a woman who wanted to remain anonymous, and I get that, I get it completely, so don't go there. She wanted to remain anonymous, but she was used for their purposes. If you, They can either be complicit in that process, or they can vote for Judge Kavanaugh, which is the will of their own voters in their states. Go look at the polls. The people in their states, which President Trump won by double digits, significant double digits, want him to be confirmed. They are stuck between this leftward drift, drift and, and not, I mean, Senator Cory Booker, I, I, when he's not being Spartacus, he's saying it doesn't matter if Judge Kavanaugh is innocent or guilty. The Democrats for days said, just have the FBI investigate. What's the harm? It'll only take four days to investigate. Their investigate is not going to be enough. Well, Leader McConnell is absolutely right. Was and are you okay? Yes, was it appropriate to laugh at those flames, Delia? No, he, when did he say she's not credible? He said there are factual inconsistencies. He laid them out for you. Don't put words in the president's mouth. Please, because you do it constantly. You do it constantly. And may I just say, and you all do it together. You all use the same. You're, you're, you're individually intelligent people who all sound the same. Is it appropriate for the room to laugh last night? Is it appropriate for me to be harangued? I'm not answering the question. The FBI commission is You take the credibility and the harm and the grief of witnesses, excuse me, of victims, depending on your own politics, and it ought to stop. I told America stop. You ought, to be, you ought to start by stopping. Killian, did the president Killian. and his family Thank get paid to build their home? The president that his attorney has said is 100% false and that those who worked on these issues decades ago were certified public accountants, were attorneys, were real estate experts. They worked on it and they, I assume, as your, attorney, as your accountants do, they signed that everything that they said was true. Uh, this is just another way the president's right to, and Sarah's right to try to undercut him. And you guys have never met a, a positive economic data point that you've liked. 
we, we were, it was predicted 185 new jobs in the private sector last month is 230,000. Where's the coverage? Yeah. Stock market all time high. GDP growth numbers are up. Unemployment's down. People feel good in this country about the economy, but you wouldn't know it by watching the coverage. Kelly and